our democracy is in an all-out crisis, and our, our policies, including our foreign policy, reflect that crisis. But fortunately, we are in a moment now where the American public is in agreement. The American public is demanding an end to this genocide. So our challenge is to get into positions of power where we can implement the will of the people. And because we have the will of the people, because history is writing this story in front of our very eyes, it's not rocket science about how to move this policy forward. Simply by enforcing existing US law that prohibits the sale of weapons and giving aid to countries that are uh, war criminals, we can stop this aid. There will be many challenges going forward. We also have the disaster of Ukraine to deal with, uh, the Cold War that's being ginned up right now with China, gun violence, exactly. But the American people are demanding solutions to that and Congress can't act. Yet we know from polls that there is strong public support for so-called common sense uh, gun protections and security reforms for uh, getting rid of assault weapons, for example, for uh, ensuring that there are safety locks, that weapons need to be stored, that there are laws that can uh, remove weapons from uh, domestic abusers and other people who are not uh, in a qualified position to be holding weapons. So there are reforms that can be implemented on all of these counts. If we are lucky enough to be in a position in the White House, we will have allies in Congress, but we will especially have allies in the grassroots and in the movements. And as president, I would be organizer in chief, the organizer that Barack Obama had promised to be and that he was, would, not, would not actually be at the end of the day. So we will be coordinating our efforts to pressure our elected officials into voting on behalf of their constituents. So we do not hold public hearings now on Gaza, on Ukraine, uh, on health care. You know, we, we no longer hold public hearings at the congressional level. Our elected representatives do not hold town hall meetings to be instructed by their constituents as to how they should vote and so on. So on all of these counts, there are very strong pressures that we can bring to bear to change this. And that includes executive actions that the president can take, for example, by ending the, uh, the delivery of weapons right now and invoking U.S. law, which says that uh, weapons cannot be delivered to um, human rights abusers. They want to convince us that we are powerless. I think it's very important to reject their propaganda of hopelessness and powerlessness. They want this community to be silent. They want the American people to be silent, and we refuse. We are going to stand up and dem demand a democracy uh, to move forward into the future.